According to Congress, modern issues require historical solutions. An Arizona-based congressman decided that in order to deal with cyber attacks, the U.S. should look back to how the U.S. dealt with adversaries over 200 years ago. A new bill was introduced to the House of Representatives called the Cyber Crime Mark and Reprisal Authorization Act of 2025, which would allow the U.S. to issue letters of mark and reprisal. For context, a letter of mark and reprisal in their original context allowed for non-government entities to engage in offensive actions on behalf of the government. Under Article 1, Section 8 of the Constitution, Congress has the authority to issue letters of mark and reprisal. During the French and Indian War, the American Revolution, and the quasi-war with France, these commissions played a central role in maritime defense. The Articles of Confederation explicitly granted Congress this power, a provision carried forward into the Constitution. Although the federal government has not issued letters of marque since the War of 1812, an unusual example occurred during World War II when a Goodyear blimp was commissioned for anti-submarine patrols off the California coast. In the case of this new ruling, the letters of mark and reprisal would allow for the executive branch to give permission to cyber companies to quote, hack back, and attack foreign bad actors that are targeting the U.S. In the case of the privateering license the U.S. is considering on offering, denoted entities would be allowed to recover stolen assets, prevent future attacks, and defend critical infrastructure. This is not the first reprisal of the U.S. attempting to allow companies to hack back. Hacking back has been coined as the, quote, worst idea in cybersecurity. Over the years, Congress has seen a slew of bills encouraging and working towards this. In 2017, a bill by the name of Active Cyber Defense Certainty Act was introduced to carve out exceptions to the Computer Fraud and Abuse Act, allowing companies to take active defense. What are your thoughts on hacking back? Should this be allowed? Is it the worst idea in cybersecurity? Do you think that going through old regulations is the right way to get this done? Let me know in the comments and I'll read some of the replies in next week's episode.